this is Heather Hoffman and I've got a card to share with you today using some tone on tone stenciling using a reverse confetti uh, confetti cuts cover panel this is the ABC cover panel and I've already die cut it from just a piece of thinner inexpensive white cardstock since I'm going to use this as a stencil and I have a top folding uh, premier polar white cardstock that I've already created just an A2 size and I'm using Lagoon dye ink for this card and I'm starting off by doing some super soft uh, just inking on the background of my card the way I'm using a makeup brush and I'm inking up my brush and then kind of um, making sure I get some of the ink off just on a little bit of uh, white computer printer paper that I have underneath my image now I'm gonna lay my stencil over use a little post-it tape to hold it in place and then I'm gonna add a little bit of a deeper stencil color over the top of this so it's gonna be the same uh, color same tone it's just gonna deepen it over the stencil look at that so you get kind of the the soft effect and your stencil on this if you use um, good quality white cardstock you can actually Go ahead and use that panel for a card too. You can kind of see there's several ways to do do this. When I first lay that white stencil over the top, it kind of looks even neat just with the inked background and a um, die cut out of white. All right, so now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna add um, a die cut word using the Hello and Thanks label confetti cuts. I start off by die cutting it from white, but as soon as I kind of set it on there, I just felt like it didn't quite pop and show enough. So I die cut it again from Midnight cardstock and I'm gonna layer these two together just to add a little bit of um, depth and dimension to that die cut sentiment. I'm using a little bit of a liquid adhesive to adhere them together. You can use a glue pen, um, spray adhesive, anything like that. But I, for this one, I just decided to use a little teensy, teensy, tiny bit of liquid adhesive. Um, make sure and go light on that. Otherwise, when you stack them together, the extra adhesive is gonna kind of squish out the sides and probably not be what you're um, ideally looking for. So I'm carefully adhering just the start of that and then on these intricate pieces like this I like to kind of pick them up and use my fingers to guide them together as I press them together so that they line up perfectly. And then to add a sentiment underneath that I wanted to make this a teacher thank you card so I'm adding a sentiment from Honey Bear stamp set that's just perfect for this and I'm gonna use that same scrap of midnight uh, cardstock that I have and I'm gonna heat emboss this sentiment in white on there so I use my powder tool to um, go over that cardstock first I'm gonna stamp it with clear embossing ink and then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle my white powder on and heat set that image once it's all heat set I'm gonna trim it down to size I love watching embossing powder melt it's just kind of fun seeing it all come together and then I'm gonna trim that down with my paper trimmer as I mentioned and then once I plan where I want to lay that under there, I'm going to use my scissors to trim each side at a little bit of an angle just for some interest um, and to make it look a little more uh, unique on there. Kind of just add some fun angles and dimension. I'm going to adhere that panel, that little, see, and I'm just showing you how that would work together on that panel as well. I'm not going to make that card right now, but I just wanted to show some other ways how that would work and how you can get a few cards kind of out of the same and reuse your stencil to make another card as well which is kind of fun so I tucked a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of that and I'm a little overachiever with the foam adhesive because I like to make sure it's fully covered I'm gonna tuck that on there and then I'll use that same liquid adhesive that I used to adhere them together to adhere that word onto the card this is a nice almost one layer if you adhered your black sentiment strip down directly on the card it would make it just a little bit flatter but um, most of the time for a teacher card you're not gonna send it through the mail anyway you're gonna hand deliver I think these would be fun to make a whole rainbow of colors thanks so much for coming by today I hope you have a wonderful day